Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It has been a while, so my apologies, but I'm super excited to be doing a Barbie uh, inspired look today with our Mary Kay products. So if you don't know me, I am Roma and I am a Mary Kay consultant. I've been a consultant for about 13 years now. Love Mary Kay products and love makeup and I love exploring with new looks. So I decided to jump on the bandwagon, on the Barbie bandwagon. Now, I will say that I do not have the Barbie coloring. I'm not, I don't have the blonde with the pale skin. Um, so we're gonna do our best here. <laughs> but trust me, this would look better if you had the same um, coloring with Barbie. These are the colors that we're using today. Super excited about them. Uh, we've got Crystalline, Dusty Rose, Frozen Iris, and we've got trademark pink, of course, for our lips. So we're going to do a look today. So I actually looked really, really closely at the Barbie um, doll itself. And looks like I can see a cut crease. So we're going to do a 10-step look, um, including a cut crease. So we're going to start with Dusty Rose with a crease brush. And Dusty Rose is here. So we're going to get this on. We are going to put this color right in the crease, just like that. I really love our crease brush and I love that it's got this um, longer end that goes right in that crease. So you can just do those sort of big arcs across your eye and it fits perfectly, which is super handy. Uh, we are also going to use the smudger brush, which has a bit of a tight rounded brush. Um, we're going to put the dusty rose on that and we're going to do a swipe just under a smudge stripe just under the lower lashes here. Just like that. So that's step two. Step three is we're gonna go back to our crease brush here and we're gonna use Frozen Iris. And this is going to go in the outer corner. So now I'm gonna turn it. I'm going to sweep from the outer corner in, just like that, just to give a bit of hint of soft purple Lavender almost on the outer corner. Just like that. Then we are going to blend. So our blender brush is really great because it's got these soft poofy bristles and we're just gonna blend. You want really soft bristles when you're blending. Circular motions. Just like that. Perfect. So then we come to the cut crease part. So we're gonna be using a concealer, uh, which is super easy. It looks like this. I'm just gonna put some of this on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use our cream color brush, which is um, pointed, which is awesome for a cut crease. So this is the part that you want to be very exact on. So this is gonna go right over top of your lower lid. And concealer is a little bit more sticky to work with, but that is why it stays. So we wanna use this cream color brush to really get a sharp defined line on the lower lid below the crease. Just like that. Try not to get it in your eye. Gonna pull it out on the corners and there you have a cut crease and I'm going to on top of that use our all-over eyeshadow brush which is 
just a basic eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use crystalline which is a great highlighting color and that is going to go right over the concealer to give it a dynamic pop. Now, because it's a cut crease, we do not want to blend. No blending on this one. I'm just gonna try to be very careful. Stick with that crease line. And done. Then we are going to use our black liner. I'm gonna go with the liquid liner today. And we're gonna do a line on the top and a little line on the bottom and if you look closely most Barbies have a bit of a thicker line at the outer side and a thinner line on the inner side inner corner of your eye so we'll do the same and then just along the lower lash line as well. I use a very, very light touch here. It can be easily get messy when you're dealing with the lower line. There's our eyes. And of course, we're gonna put some mascara on. We're gonna use our ultimate mascara today. It provides a great amount of volume. It's beeswax based, which is also good. Better for your lashes. And we'll do mascara on the top. And mascara on the bottom. So, we are on step nine, and we're going to use our cheek brush, which is beautifully rounded on one side and straight on one side, but we're going to, um, Barbie typically doesn't have a whole lot of cheek color on, so we're going to use Darling Pink here, which is very subtle. We'll just put a little bit of color on our cheek brush and a little bit of color on the apples of our cheeks and along the cheekbone. Just like that. I always think it's interesting because cheek color shows up more on camera than in real life, so it looks a little bit different. Okay, and then we are going to finish it off. Step 10 is our trademark pink lipstick. And I will be the first to admit, pink lipstick on me isn't great, but we'll give it a go. And there you have it. That is our Barbie look. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. And if you have any questions about the look or you want more information, feel free to put a message below. I would love to hear your comments. Have a great day.